With the development of natural love within ourselves, when we're growing from this place to this place, we are actually changing how much love we reflect to others. Yes. On the divine path, we are actually changing. The love is actually coming from God and entering us and then being reflected to others. So it, it really is, you're talking about divine love. You're so we're talking about divine love. No. Does God love a person in the sixth fear more than the first fear? Right? The answer is, uh, and the question I actually said wasn't that. The question I said, does the person in the sixth fear receive more divine love than a person in the first fear? And the answer is yes. Does God love them more? Well, they've received more love, so God must love them more. But does God want the other person to be loved the same? Yes. yes. And this scale we're talking about, we're talking about it in the spiritual world, but there are the five this, this, this scale would apply equally on earth, would it not? Of course, of course. Everything I'm saying about these spheres is all to do with your soul. So it's all to do with what happens here on earth. Um, Jen, right up the back, has been very patient. My experience has been that whenever I have a really good cry and I get into my cause and emotions, I say to myself, well, I've just made a bit more space for God's love to enter me. Spot on. That's exactly, and that's what's exactly how I feel. And I feel very proud of myself when I say that. <laughs> that's, good. that's good. That's exactly what you're doing when you're releasing emotions that are in disharmony with love, because you've just made some more space for God's love to be in you. Yeah, a lot of us don't want to be vulnerable, we don't want to be open, we don't want to be truthful, we don't want to be all sorts of things, right, that are in disharmony with love. So, like when I have a desire to lie, I have a desire to live in disharmony with love. So I'm not being loving and I can't, if I have a desire to be lied to, I have a desire to be treated unlovingly. So, so if I say to my husband, uh, do I look good in this? Do I look good in this? And he's really feeling... She's a bit tubby now. <laughs> Many men have learned never to say that. <laughs> because our wife doesn't have a desire to be loved. Because if she had a desire to be loved, she'd have a desire for truth. And if she had a desire for truth, she would ask for my truthful opinion. And would not get upset if I gave it. Does that make sense? So many of us, how many of us get upset? We ask for somebody's truthful opinion, they tell us it, we're upset. Well, the truth is we didn't want their truthful opinion. And we don't have a desire to be loved because truth is, lo truth is loving. So can you see how this affects all parts of our life? Yeah. Yeah. Dennis Hanks. I, I guess I'm wondering whether the Buddha's teaching is that if she loved herself, she probably wouldn't ask, but she also wouldn't be a bit tubby either. <laughs> <laughs> well, can you see why? All of your emotions create your physical condition. So therefore, there's an emotion inside of her that creates the feeling that the body needs to put on weight, right? Does that make sense to everyone? Right? Now, it might be an emotion of being unattractive sexually, or it might actually be an emotion of wanting to be unattractive sexually, so she doesn't get sexual projections of men that she finds very uncomfortable. All sorts of emotions cause us to put on weight. We deal with that emotion, we'll lose the weight. You will become your ideal shape and size when you leave these emotions, physically and the spirit body. This is why by the time most people get to the second or third sphere of the spirit world, and certainly by the time they get to the sixth, they have nice bodies. Because all of the emotions that create disharmony within the body are released. That's also why they all look 25. Because all the emotions that create aging are also released. And it's emotions that create aging, by the way. Um, down front, thanks. Thanks, Justin. I've got a friend and he's really interesting in the sense that he he's obviously gifted in the psychic realms and he actually is a mechanic. And the other day I walked in there and he said, here, look at my pants. And he'd lost a whole heap of weight. And I said, well, you know, how did you do that? And he said, I made up my mind to do it. And I know that he hasn't dealt with his emotions. And I thought, oh, if I get the opportunity, I'll ask AJ to, to 
talk about the power of the mind and how we create things there and we bring clarity into because I know he's still going to play. Do you understand where I'm coming yeah, from? Yeah. What's going on there? A lot of times what happens when a person makes up their mind to do it, they start exercising desire. And remember I've said in the past that desire is the most powerful thing you can have. Desire is the full full the full desire of your free will being being explored. So if that if if a person does that, then obviously a lot of times things will change in their body just because of that desire. However, it doesn't mean that the causal emotions that created it are released. All it sets up inside of us is there is stronger desire which which pulls the soul down a certain track. And many times the soul finishes up releasing something in the process. But often the process of losing weight causes me to have more self-esteem, which actually then creates an emotion of desire to do you know what I mean? It's like a self-perpetuating thing once it begins. And this often happens. So often people can exercise their mind and change. right? And in fact, every person on the natural love path going to the sixth fear does this. They exercise their mind and they change. But causal emotions will be released in that process which cause the changes. right? It's just they're not totally aware of what those causal emotion changes are during that process in many cases. However, if you deal with a causal emotion that's related to your weight, you will drop weight within weeks. And so that's something to just bear in mind for those of you who feel you're overweight. It's an emotional issue. And a lot of times it can be a very, very strange emotional issue. For example, for a woman who's on, on the overweight side, it may be an emotion where you do not want men's attention. It might be an emotion like that. Because you taught, when you were younger, you might have got unwanted men's attention, right? Sexual projections from spirits or from people on earth when you were younger that you didn't like, and so you put on weight to reduce the amount of sexual sexual attention you get. Once you deal with that emotion, you find the weight will just fall off, and you won't worry about sexual projections, whether you receive them or not. It won't. You won't be afraid of them inside of yourself. So it can be very. Uh, strange linkages between our physical problems sometimes and the emotion that created it.